Key concept number 10, the domestic fatal flaw. Supreme Court Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes said, even a dog distinguishes between being stumbled over and being kicked. So what is the fatal flaw of using a domestic only asset protection plan? Consider this, a statute in one state may provide for complete protection while a court in another state may not agree. And for better or worse, we are the United States, which means that we all must adhere to the U.S. Constitution. And that Constitution specifically states under Article 4, Section 1, full faith and credit shall be given in each state to the public acts, records, and judicial proceedings of every other state. So, no matter how good the laws in Nevada, Delaware, or Alaska are, no jurisdiction can simply ignore a judgment or a court order from another U.S. jurisdiction or from the federal court system, which sits on top of state law. So while it may seem theoretically that we can get all the protection we need domestically, in reality, we have thousands of cases of judges, courts, and juries going off the rails seemingly ignoring statutes, precedent, and other court rulings. Add to that an army of attorneys who literally make their living in what has become a $300 billion a year lawsuit industry, and it's pretty easy to feel kicked in a U.S. courtroom. In practice, the result is that we have a serious lack of predictability in virtually all U.S. courts. You can and should use the domestic tools which are appropriate. But if you're really serious about protecting your assets, you want to build a way out of the U.S. when push comes to shove. So, is it possible to get offshore protection with domestic simplicity? Find out in key concept number 11, the Bridge Trust. Mm -hmm.